Hello and welcome back everyone to the next episode on anubhavtrainings.com. Today's topic is very interesting. It's about converting OData v4 response to OData v2, including the metadata on SAP business technology platform with cloud application programming model. So by far you would have seen that if when we build a cloud native application using Capm, what we get is a default response of our service as v4. But at times you would want this response to be converted to V2 based OData service. Uh, what is the main reason for that? Let's understand some of the use cases. So what is happening here is you have a data model. So you have a database and on top of it, you have your Capom application, which is by default exposing your service layer as a V4 OData service. But still the V4 OData service is uh, not that mature enough or I would say the frameworks which we use with the OData v4 service are still not mature enough to consume it for example some of the fury elements so right now as of uh, 2021 there is a limited support for overview pages for v4 OData service which is limited and there is only support of list report for the v4 OData service perhaps in the future SAP would add on some more uh, support for the few elements full fledged for v4 but as of now 2021 uh, april these are all the supported few elements in 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 this in this uh, scenario now the v2 audit service which has been there since quite a long time in the industry is fully supporting all the different few elements including ovp and lrp list report plus also it's supporting analytic list pages and also the work list application so that's where you get a very good advantage when it comes to V2 Audita service. The main fundamental difference is a small uh, delta change in the metadata. Plus also the response change or response differences. A V4 service shows you a response with a value node alone, which is more of a, a lightweight one. But a V2 Audita service uh, shows you a response something like D. Then inside that you have a nesting of results. And that's where you have an array. So this is the response of a v2 OData service. So this is more usable at this time with fewer elements. All the fewer elements are supported and you would perhaps want to now a need an engine in the middle or a middleware which can do this conversion which is coming out of Capm as a v4 to v2. So that's what we are going to talk. What is this engine? So this is basically a dependency given by SAP at the rate SAP slash uh, CDS OData CDS V2 proxy. Uh, maybe I'm not naming it correctly, but I'll show you in the system how I've done this conversion by far. So we have to add this OData proxy module which converts your V4 OData service to V2. And the steps to do that are as below. So I switch over to my business application studio. And here we have uh, our package.json file in which we have added a module called CDS OData V2 adapter proxy module. And once we do that, we just have to also configure this using server.js file. So this is a pretty standard configuration. If you also go to the npmjs.com, you would find more details about this package on the npmjs there. And you can read more of about this OData V2 adapter proxy, which is released by SAP into uh, into the npm js so this is what it is mainly doing and basically what it does is a, any service which is currently serving a v4 response will start serving also on top the v2 response and you can access it just by appending slash v2 slash your endpoints so let's go ahead and experience this running in action so i will switch over back to business application studio and let me launch my app and you can see right now all these services which we have are v4 order services if you go to let's say purchase orders then you can see this is a typical v4 response with a value node and an array yes default response is also json for v4 and if you also go back and check kind of a metadata this is a more of a version 4 metadata yes now if i just wanted to test this with v2 i just have to go back and say slash v2 slash and then my service name let's say catalog service slash dollar metadata and now voila you can see i've got my v2 order service ready in action and you can also go back and check 
my purchase orders entity set and there you go you can see now purchase order entity set with v2 like response which is coming out of system fantastic isn't it and now you can utilize this service for most of your fury elements and they can be uh, they all can be used with the cloud application programming model you can also see it fully supports all the operations like dollar top equals to let's say two i'm interested in only two purchase orders it also exposed your associations here with the desired links and you can switch over to for example expand association for uh, looking at all the purchase order items in fact you can also do here question mark dollar expand operation to look at all the items of the corresponding purchase order so that is how you know your v2 response works and similarly the v4 of course but in cases where your v4 is not directly supported or let's say you have already built a fully fledged freestyle fury application in which is built on v2 and there is a very high effort of taking this application into the cloud just because the cloud supports v4 out of the box you can converge your current service to v2 and with this adapter proxy module and then utilize your your fury application there with very minimal effort wow that's amazing isn't it so start consuming this module and convert your v4 services to v2 and i hope you enjoyed this video if you like this please uh, share subscribe this channel for more free videos like this and i hope to see you in my next video on cloud application programming model for detailed training on capm and business technology platform please join us on anubhavtrainings.com for end to end training on capm with uh, a full fledged ready application uh, into the cloud thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video